Hello YouTubers and live videoers, it's me, Women29, and I'm responding to Rick Kane's Bible Challenge. Um, I really like it how every time Rick Kane gets a new book, he thinks that he discovered something entirely new and comes on and asks us all kinds of questions. So, Brett, I did the research and my head hurts because I spent all night at the library. But, here I found this here Bert Ehrman misquoting Jesus. And lo and behold, he just came out with a book. Now, if you turn on page 260, let's see, forgive me, I can't read all that well. We do not have the original manuscripts of any of the books of the New Testament, but only copies, over 5,000 copies, just in Greek language, which these books were originally written. Most of these copies are centuries removed from the originals. All the copies contain mistakes, both great and small, as scribes either inadvertently or intentionally altered the text. My, my. The vast majority of these changes are insignificant, immaterial, and of no importance for the meaning of the passages in which they are found. Others, however, are quite significant. Sorry, significant. Sometimes the meaning of a verse in a passage or an entire book depends on which textual variances the scholars described are original. These decisions are sometimes relatively simple to make, but in other instances they are extremely difficult, even for scholars who have spent years, like Mr. Cain, working on the problem. As a result, there are many passages of the New Testament where scholars continue to debate the original wording. And there are some in which we will probably never know what the authors originally wrote. Wow, Mr. Kane, I'm sure that the same would apply to the Old Testament text. I mean, copies of copies? Dang, it about time I turned be atheist. <laughs> 